Since that fateful day in January 2021, nearly a thousand people have been arrested nationwide and charged with various crimes involved in the attempted insurrection. The Justice Department reports that more than half those defendants have already pleaded guilty. Add a battleground man to that list. Here's our Kyle Aboshi. A battleground man who took selfie style photos with his son during the Capitol riot pleaded guilty to a single count of entering and remaining in a restricted building. He'll be sentenced in August. Jeff Grace admitted he and his son Jeremy Grace went to Washington, D.C. in January of 2021 to attend a rally in support of President Donald Trump. Court records indicate they traveled and stayed at a hotel with a member of the Proud Boys. On January 6th, the father and son joined with a large group of Proud Boys at the Washington Monument before walking toward the U.S. Capitol building, according to federal investigators. Photos and videos show the duo just a few feet behind the front line of protesters who pushed past officers protecting the Capitol. Images show Grace entering the U.S. Capitol building and then watching another rioter attempt to steal a congressional lectern. There was a, a photo that was widely circulated, and the suggestion is that that's you behind this gentleman. Is that you? Yes. In a March 2021 interview with KGW, Jeff Grace admitted he broke the law. Why did you enter the Capitol building? You know, I really don't know. To be honest, I, uh, I don't know. I had no intention of it. And uh, I don't want to say swept up by the crowd or swept up by my heart or swept up by this. I, I don't really have an answer for that. During that same interview, Grace denied his son Jeremy entered the building. He didn't go in the Capitol. And Grace falsely claimed he didn't take any photos or video. Did you take any photos or, or video when you were there? Nope. Court records would prove otherwise. Jeff and Jeremy Grace can be seen posing together in photos and video inside and outside the U.S. Capitol during the insurrection. Federal agents claim both men tried to delete the selfie-style videos. A couple months after his arrest, a federal judge ordered Jeff Grace surrender any guns and weapons while awaiting trial after he showed up armed during what prosecutors described as pre-planned confrontations in both Portland and El Paso, Texas. Grace posted videos on YouTube and social media complaining the Justice Department treated him unfairly, and he sold shirts online displaying the U.S. Capitol with the phrase, Our House, boldly printed on the front. Grace's son was sentenced last July after accepting a similar plea deal with prosecutors. Jeremy Grace got 21 days in prison and supervised release. Nine people from Oregon and southwest Washington were charged in relation to the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Of those, four have pleaded guilty, including Jeff and Jeremy Grace. A federal judge sentenced Jeffrey Hubbard of Lincoln City to 45 days in prison and three years of probation after pleading guilty to one count of parading, demonstrating, or picketing in a Capitol building. Lilla Sayer of Portland also pleaded guilty for her role in the January 6th insurrection. She will be sentenced in federal court on Tuesday. Kyle joins me now. Super interesting story. Is that guy Jeff Grace still posting on social media? No. So the social media accounts where he was speaking out against the government, those have largely come down, as has the website where he was selling all kinds of merchandise and hats under the label Our House. That doesn't exist anymore. Nice. Uh, do you think he feels bad about all this? Uh, tough to say. He did admit his guilt in front of a judge today. Now, what will be interesting is sentencing, which comes in August, because oftentimes defendant comes before a judge at that point admit what they did is wrong and why and they're sorry, that type of thing. So we'll see when sentencing occurs in August. And what about, I know there's a number of cases, maybe nine people have been charged at some level. Right. Uh, what are the, the status of those? Yeah, so four of them have pleaded guilty at this point. Uh, the rest of them we'll see. The, the process has been obviously quite slow, yeah. but I anticipate in many of these cases, as we've seen across the board, They'll end in plea deals in all likelihood. Okay, and maybe jail time? Uh, possibly. It's been interesting, to be honest with you. Some of those who just entered the Capitol um, during the insurrection, they're not getting jail time. Those who maybe confronted the officers or lied about their behaviors, they seem to be getting some jail time. All right, we'll be watching. It'll be interesting. Thank you, Kyle. Great stuff as always.